How about you? Can you hear me? We can hear you, yes. And I'm just going to move this so that you can see the kids. Hi! Hi! Okay, grade one. This is, what would you like us to call you? Um, they can, they can call me Dr. Greg if they'd like. Okay, this is Dr. Greg. And Dr. Greg is a geologist, and she's going to tell us all about rocks. She's going to answer our questions. So are you ready for some questions, Dr. Greg? Oh, yes. Any questions would be great. Okay. Um, let's have you ask the first question. How are rocks made? Oh, come right up to it so she can hear you. Right up here. How are rocks made? Hi, that's a great question. That's a really good question. So rocks are made in a couple of different ways. Um, so how many of you guys know about volcanoes? You guys know about volcanoes? They have hot molten lava. Well, one way that rocks are made are from volcanoes. And I have a picture here, and I don't know if you can see it. So... Uh, can you see that picture? Yeah. yeah. So it's um, a lava flow with, um, so here's lava coming out. It's really hot. And this person here, this is my, this is my husband, Corey, and he's playing in the lava. And as that hot lava from a volcano cools, it forms rocks. And so a lot of rocks are formed from volcanoes. So that's one way that rocks are formed. And those are called those are called igneous rocks. So those are formed from from hot lava. And then um, another way rocks are formed are like sand. It gets smushed together, and you can get a really hard rock just from lots of little pieces smushed together, and that forms like a sandstone or different rock, rocks like that. Then also you can form rocks by just squishing other rocks. So. Basically, you can form rocks a lot of different ways. Does anyone have a follow-up question on that? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do your question next? Okay. Here comes another one. What are rocks made of? Oh, that's a great question. So rocks are made of lots of different things. Um, I know that you guys asked about amethysts and diamonds. Well, those are types of minerals. And um, rocks are actually made up of little bits of minerals. So in the picture that I showed you a second ago, this one, um, these, this molten lava has actually got a lot of little crystals in it. Um, and those crystals, when it cools, are part of the rock. So the rocks are made up of all sorts of different little things. So you can have rocks that have diamonds in them or rocks that have amethyst in them or rocks that have gold or silver. And all of those different little things are smushed together and make up a rock. Great question. Thank you so much. Here it comes. Oh, you need then you'll be able to do it tight. There. Hi. Um, where could I find amethyst? Oh, that's a great question. It's actually it's kind of hard to find amethyst. Amethysts aren't really there aren't too many amethysts in, in Canada, but um amethysts are formed in the center of the earth, like in the crust, at really high temperatures and pressures. And so here I have a picture of a pretty amethyst crystal. I don't know if you can see that. So it's really pretty and purple, and it's actually a type of quartz, and um, it gets the purple color by being zapped by radiation. So you guys know what um, nuclear radiation is and that kind of stuff. Well, these crystals sit underground, and they form, and they get zapped by little particles that make them change color. And some of the places you can find amethyst are like in South America, in Germany, and Russia. So next time you're going traveling, um, you might be able to see some amethyst. Or you could probably pick some up at a, at a rock and mineral show. So. <laughs>
Okay, the next question you've partially answered, but um, I, we need to have everybody have their turn to say their question, so we'll oh, go ahead okay, and ask sure. it. Oh, sure. Yep. Here she comes. Okay. Hi. Hi. Why do some rocks look like diamonds? Well, so that, that comes back to the, the question of, of color, and some rocks don't have any color at all, and so they end up looking very clear and pretty like diamonds. But, um, like, for example, quartz looks a lot like a diamond, and it's nice and hard and shiny and pretty, and it's just that uh, it's a really pretty crystal without any color. So it happens a lot of times, yeah, that you have rocks that look like diamonds, but they aren't. But it's mainly because that they just don't have any color with them. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for the question. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops, we just have a little technical glitch here. Somebody tripped okay. over a cord. And we will just... Oh, shh. Okay. Okay, we're back on. Okay, I hear you, and um, can you see us? I can see your your red jacket. <laughs> oh no, it froze on you. Well, we can still see you in a beautiful way. So, okay, well that's that's um, positive. Why don't we? We'll we'll ask the next question, and if it doesn't unfreeze, then okay. then we'll try a second call. Okay, okay. sounds good. Okay. Oh no, no, ask your question. Ask your question. Do some rocks come from the sea? Oh, yeah. So you know how I um, mentioned volcanoes before? Well, there are actually volcanoes on the on the ocean floor as well. And um, one of the things that I study is volcanoes on the seafloor. So there are actually lots of rocks on the seafloor that we can study. And I don't know if you can see this very well, but what this is a picture of is this is me. And this is a giant bag with teeth on it. And we go out to sea on boats and we actually take this bag and we run it along the seafloor and collect rocks. And so in this next picture here, so if you can see it, it's a bunch of scientists and this is that same bag here. And there's lots of rocks that we've scraped off of the bottom of the seafloor that we can then look at and study. So we can actually look at learn a lot about the seafloor, not only from just dragging a bag along it and picking up samples, but we also have um, different things like submarines that go down to the seafloor and collect rocks for us. So yeah, not only are there volcanoes on land, but there's actually a lot of volcanoes are found under the water, and so we studied those quite a bit. Thank you. So, um, it, thanks for the question. Uh, it seems like you're not unfreezing. I don't know. Should I, okay. I call back? Why don't we, why don't we, yeah, why don't we call back, and we'll try for another question then, okay? Okay. Okay, we'll hang up here. 